A group of civil society organizations under the banner Hands Off Our Democracy are holding a mass rally seeking to confront the state capture fight back and defend South Africa's democracy. Let's cross live to our reporter Nklantla Katani who is at the rally. Nklantla? <coughs> Well, yes, indeed. Good day to you in studio. I'm coming to you right here from jo the Johannesburg City Hall, where the SACP and Ahmed Katrada Foundation and other organizations have gathered here in a campaign to uh, defend our democracy. But just to talk to us a little bit more with regards to what's going to be happening here today is the SACP's national spokesperson, Mr. Uh, Dr. Alex Mashilo. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, Dr. Mashilo, please, today, talk to us about today. Today we are launching what we termed the beginning of a long-term process to defend our democracy, which we believe has to be deepened and widened until the strategic objectives of our struggle for liberation have been achieved. The way things stand right now are not looking good. The key institutions that we need to drive democratic transformation and development and serve our people have been ruined. ESCOM has been plunged into crisis, governance decay, mismanagement, maladministration and looting have contributed to the structural problem that ESCOM has faced instead of solving the problems that were there before. The situation has become worse and ESCOM is heavily indebted. Uh, at least one billion rand was paid to a United States firm, McKenzie, from ESCOM just for doing nothing. There have been processes to recover that money, but it is very clear that more has to be done. Prasa has been plunged into crisis, Transnet was plunged into crisis, SABC is looking for a bailout, it is in crisis, it cannot pay workers unless the state offers it a guarantee. Uh, telecom was also plunged into crisis. SARS capacity to fight tax dodgers was uh, dismantled. So we are dealing with a wider crisis that we have got to deal with decisively and successfully and turn around our country, rebuild our economy and build a better life for our people. Today's campaign, Defend Our Democracy, and you guys also you said there's a fight back, uh, you know, a state capture fight back. Can you please just elaborate further on that? What we have seen is that uh, the networks of those who are who were complicit in the road of state capture are mobilizing to defend them. That is open. It is out there at the place in the sun for all to see. But having mobilized for the establishment of the Commission of Inquiry into state capture, we stopped the mobilization after the Commission was established and handed over to the Commission everything. It has now become very clear that if we do not mobilize to defend our democracy, the networks of those who were implicated or who were involved in bringing down our key state-owned enterprises to crisis uh, may become successful one way or the other. And we are saying, let us stand up, let us build a widest possible patriotic front in defense of our democracy. Let us ensure that those who were involved in plunging our state entities into crisis are held to account. Another issue, we know that the president is going to have a press briefing uh, later today at 6 o'clock. Uh, your view as uh, the SACP with regards to uh, that particular briefing? We will uh, look at what uh, the president will announce at that briefing. But as we have said, it was very clear all along that the incumbent public protector advocate Busisui Mkwebani was going to make a negative finding against the president. The finding that she made is completely not surprising. What we have said is that we respect the rights of those who are adversely affected by the findings of the, neg uh, of the, of the public public protector. In terms of our the laws of our country, if you are adversely affected, if you do not agree, you've got the right to take the reports of the public protector to the courts. As things stand right now, it is very clear that the courts are going to play the role of the vanguard insofar as protecting the public is concerned because the courts have ruled in one case that the public protector acted disingenuously, that she acted unconstitutionally, unlawfully, ultra meaning without a legal standing and was biased and we do not have confidence that a person
person who is described by our courts of law based on the matters that were before the courts in that manner really deserves to be a public protector. Well, thank you so much. There you go, uh, Mahindra, uh, uh, the SACP spokesperson. The, uh, what I can tell you that since our arrival here, we've seen a couple of people uh, making their way to come to this rally. And we also saw uh, Minister Pravin Kodan here at this uh, campaign. With that being said, it's back to you in studio. Thank you very much indeed, our reporter in Klantla.